good morning. Good morning. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Welcome to the show. My I'm, voice isn't gone. I'm Jeremy Rabe. That's and Coffee I, Conklin over there. Coffee Conklin. <laughs> you know what? Just call me Ariel Coffee Conklin because I feel like my voice was taken by a wicked sea witch the past six days. <laughs> what are you trying to say about me? No. Jeremy? Am I the wicked sea witch? We need to talk. It is, ther uh, it is Therapy Tuesday sing today. Sing for me. Ha, ha, ha. And I'm taking it. And I got it. Oh. Hi guys. Welcome. Wacky. Welcome back. It's not by the way, I know your days are probably off because you've been sick and yeah. off at home. My days are off. I've been thinking it's Wednesday all day today. Well, you're just excited to go to LA. Well, actually, I'm stressed. I'm so nervous. I get nervous every year. I well, you got a you got a big agenda <sighs> for Sunday. Like I'm Sunday just, is a big, big, long day. It's a long day. It's stressful and I, the thing that stresses me out the most is just not knowing if somebody's going to be rude, and then it ruins my whole opinion of them. Just go in with zero expectations. Okay. That's we're it. all humans. We're all humans, and some people have good days, some people have bad days. But here, I'm saying it on air. If you meet Barry Keoghan, you and Chris the Critic, I need some sort of shout out, because oh. I am in love with that actor right now. He is currently my obsession. Yes, I will say it. I'm sorry, G. He is my obsession. He is great. And if you meet He's him, please. He's in which movie to let them know? He is in Saltburn. It is a very interesting movie about obsession, <laughs> so. Maddie fits right in. I fit right in. <laughs> We're at, actually, I'm producing Saltburn 2, starring Maddie Conklin. Thank you. Who will be obsessed over Barry Keegan and their, yes. and. And then I will become, yes, yes, yeah. And then also, if you see, which I'm sure you're going to, James Marsden. I hope and pray. Now, here, here's he, the one thing that's kind of different, though. Okay, so when I first joined Critics' Choice, I've been in it for like five years now. I think, man, time flies. Yeah. Anyway. The first year was at the Barker Hangar, which is really, really big. Yes. And spaced out. Yes. I like it better. However, when it's at the Fairmont Century Plaza, it's smaller and intimate, and you have more opportunity to run into people. Yeah. Because it's like compartmentalized, and you have to go to this area for the bathroom, and here's the lobby, here's the ballroom. And it's like you can access people easier at the Fairmont. Yeah. However, I do like the big Barker Hangar because it's bigger. But. Well, and what I noticed, I watched the Golden Globes on Sunday um, in its entirety, and I noticed a lot of the celebrities, like the moment commercial hits, they're oh, yeah. up and mean. Oh, you should see Which it, yeah. I never thought of, but duh, you're not just going to sit there for five yeah. minutes, you know, oh, twiddling your thumbs. Oh, it's the same way Critics' Choice. So. And so typically, too, I, I can't, I'm trying to remember the Barker Hangar, because you're not allowed to move while the show is happening live, but as soon as that commercial, everybody moves, and then if you're not even at your seat, you have to wait up against the wall yes. until the next commercial to get back to your seat. Didn't you say you had to wait again uh, with some Somebody on the the wings with, and you said something about their dress. Yes. Yeah, so um, if you watch *Marvelous Mrs. Maisel*, that's right. She plays um, Midge's mom, and I'm going blank on her name. I'm sorry. Alex Bornstein. No, no, that's her manager. Oh. Okay. But she plays the mom. Okay. Uh, anyway, I was standing there, and I happened to have a drink, and I backed up, and it was her, and I went, "Oh my God, I love you." Yeah. <laughs> and then also waiting, I was waiting to talk to the people from S Creek, like Dan Levy and Eugene Levy. I was over at the wall waiting for the commercial, and standing literally as far away from me as you is Quentin Tarantino. Oh my gosh. And I, I got too nervous to even approach him. Well, he's, yeah. He's an intimidating tall man figure, and I was like, I don't need, I'm afraid he's gonna punch me out or something. And Not he's Tarantino. He what do you say to Tarantino? Well, I love I mean, your stuff. I mean, I was like, what do you say to him? Yeah. And I'm like, what? What do you say, Jesse? I, I know what you say to Quentin Tarantino. What? You wanna see my feet? Oh! <laughs> Quentin Tarantino loves feet. It's he does. Oh, he's got a thing for feet. Does he? Oh, he yeah. does. Well, now I have an icebreaker. No. There Next you go. Time, no. Yeah. No. You're like, I wore these flip flops just for you. <laughs> I'm going to wear flip flops to the critic's choice, and I'm not going to shave my toes. Yeah, Stop you it. don't shave those toes. <laughs> Guys, I hate feet so much. Uh, Angela is having an, I, I, just, a moment over I here. I, I'm so I, sorry if you're eating yeah. breakfast. Oh. I'm not. I grew up like as a dancer, and dancers we just have horrendous <laughs> feet. So oh, like, I just hate yeah. feet. I just, like, no, I just love watching go, go, go. Coop and Adam's reaction just talking well, right now. They're like, I what know is you. happening? I think it was somebody, it may have been Adam that pointed it out to me that he <laughs> it has Adam. like, in a lot of Quentin Tarantino movies, like, we were talking about this months ago, <clears throat> Quentin yeah. Tarantino, like <laughs> in, in a lot of his movies, he'll have like a shot of someone's feet. Yes. In, in all of like almost all of his what? movies. I need to I didn't, know these movies so I don't. And then I started watch them. I started noticing that in like Dawn of the Dead in, uh, I don't, he's got a lot of, Kill, Kill Bill. Bill. There, I mean it's just. <laughs> Thank you, Jake. Yeah. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. That may have been the one it was because we watched. Wow. It, and I uh, think he like interacts yeah, like he touches the feet in Stop it. some of nope. the things. Yeah. Anyways, are you are you a Tarantino fan? That's I, oh. Sure. Yeah. I was gonna ask pop quiz. Uh huh. 
Quentin Tarantino, before he was famous, made a cameo as an extra on a famous 80s sitcom. Name that sitcom. Uh, All in the Family. Family 80s. Matters. 80s. Oh, that's I think 90s. That was 70s. Oh. <laughs> I'm on 90s. I don't. It's one of our favorite shows, Maddie. Uh, Golden Girls? Company. The Golden, Golden Girls. Girls. Uh, oh how God. dare I not even know that? Quentin Tarantino was an Elvis impersonator in that's the Golden Girls. That's awesome. Really? That's fun. <laughs> well, I need it. I love that's that. Fun. See? Now I, I'm reflecting on the days I was sick and all the things I should have watched that I didn't. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I should have just binged Golden Girls. I watched <laughs> everything but. We've got another weekend coming up in like there three we and a half days. Yes, a long this weekend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we got some fun coffee break stories for you this morning. Love it. One in particular, I am, a lot of people are obsessed with uh, the Stanley Cups. Okay, all right, here we go, yep. here we go. Here we, go. Uh, we have one of our very own who is, uh, <laughs> In on this Stanley Cup. Luna? <laughs> Luna. So um, I got my very first Stanley. It was one of the Starbucks ones that's like super rare to get. They mm -hmm. only like to release four at every like Starbucks. Mm -hmm. So this was, she my, got one. And this was my first one. I like just so happened to be at Battlefield Mall and grabbed it. And then Wait, the second one. That one. You got the pink and one? I got the pink parade. You got the coveted pink one? The, so this is one of them. There's two coveted pink ones. This is the pink parade. It was like Black Friday's drop and like I was still on East Coast time. So I was like refreshing the page and immediately got it in my cart and like got it. Oh my gosh. But the Angela one I went it. after, we were doing Ozarks Fox AM and I went to Target mm. to go get the pink one and I waited in line. There were people there since 3.30. 3.30 in the morning. Yeah. And, but I got there at like 7.30, and then they gave us numbers, so they didn't want us like trampling each other, you know? Yeah. So this, this so next story. I did not get it. The, kind of some context there yeah. for this story for you. Okay. There are viral videos now of shoppers rushing to get their hands on these limited edition red and pink <laughs> is, Stanley yes, Tumblers. Yes, that is the oh one. Gosh. The trendy yep. cups, of course, released by Target and Starbucks. They sold out quickly. Starbucks says, we ain't gonna restock these. We wanna keep this craze going. So now, <laughs> some of those tumblers are popping up on resale sites like eBay for hundreds of dollars, even thousands of dollars in some cases. People are obsessed with these things. I live with a Stanley addict myself, <laughs> and she swears that I'll drink more water if yes, I have it's, one. It's, so, it, it, it's, your um, water tastes so good with it. I'm gonna yeah, be honest. I, like, it's, I don't, I'm addicted. Five it's, bucks. Five, five <laughs> bucks, you'll drink your water out of this, okay? I'm, you don't need a Stanley. I'm terrible. I um, love the. I don't know why. Like they're cute. I'm a. I'm a plastic water bottle guy. It's. It's yeah. bad. Um, Jeremy, what do you? What do you? What do you think of there? I. I just. I just don't get it. Yeah. I sent. I sent Maddie a meme yesterday because Stanley's a very old company. Yeah. And they mm -hmm. used. To, and and they didn't used mm -hmm. to look like that. They. I, yeah, anyway, yeah, I said it's like school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like we, the... we were Stanley before Stanley was cool. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying. Yeah. This like is a... literally what it used to look like. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like so, a thermos. So I don't know if we can get so, a. Yeah. So what happened with it though? We'll is... send this photo for host chat hour two. Yeah. So you can see that. So, so what happened with it is that like some mommy bloggers during the pandemic started buying the Stanleys, wow. and then all of a sudden the the founder of the company was like, hmm. Light bulbs Genius. start making colors, and like now it's trendy, and like the influencer era really yeah. like popped off, and now you see these like little ten year olds freaking out at birthday parties with them. Yes. Like I'm sorry, if I was ten and I got a cup, I'd be pretty mad. Like yeah. I would want silly bands, <laughs> or like but you know, it's what? all a fad. Yeah, silly bands. You know. I just is, okay. Yeah. I really the only reason I want to try one. And Mabel's getting old school, and I don't have to have a color. I just really want to see, because Angela, you sworn mm -hmm. it keeps things colder That's, or hotter. Because I was a water bottle mm -hmm. girly, too, where I just would just, I'd go run to the store and buy my 24-pack, and then I finally bought one of these things. I'm like, I see what they did. I, my, I, get, I get the hype. My buddies are still yeah. on the Yeti thing. So. Oh, yeah. Yeti. Yetis. 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 Hey. My buddies. <laughs> Yetis are my buddies. Yeti Yeti buddies. Are my buddies. I, did, I did miss the Yeti craze. Right. I, yeah. I, I skipped that. I skipped it with Stanley. <laughs> Simultaneous. <laughs> but like you said, craze. craze. Yeti craze. was a huge thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's gone. Stanley's a huge thing. Now it's going to, something we'll, else we'll is going to come about. We'll see what happens next. We'll have to find out. Well, you know one I, person. What? Go ahead, Jeremy. No, no, no. I was just going to say, I love all the memes because there's a lot of TV characters named Stanley. Like Stanley from The Office. Stanley on the Golden Girls. There's been memes of them using them. Stanley, I love those. Stanley. Sorry, I digress. Yeah. Okay, well, we are all obsessed with our cups. You've got to hear what Tom is doing oh, with his okay. water drinking <laughs> habit. Tom, oh, Tom. please uh, explain what you Oh, my what, gosh, what yes, got Tom. Going. I go to the fountain in the square and just fill up my bottles. No. <laughs> <laughs> I really was like, what? He's down there puts an iodine no, tablet no, in no, it. No, no, no. What I actually do is I'll use the plastic bottles, but I'll just refill them. Yes, yeah, good. Tom, reduce, like, Tom, reuse. Uh, if, you said like, you had one that's like... He's on Six one. Months? Just reuse them. Well, I've got three that I reuse. Oh, so I, I don't give those away to people, okay? I have other water bottles <laughs> unused in the fridge. Um, but the ones I use to keep them in the door and uh, just 
I've been using like the same bottle for like six months now. No, I will well, say, I think crazy. those break down. Those break down. Uh, those break down, I would change bacteria. those out. <laughs> and you need to, oh, do you wash them in the dishwasher? Uh, no. Just water? Wash them? No, just water. Oh, Tom. <laughs> oh, Tom. Tom well, we'll have an intervention. Hey, I have Is this really building immunity? I'm going to text my doctor <laughs> really fast just to see yeah. the... Uh, <laughs> Possible health. But you take it away with the weather, Tom. Yeah. Uh, we'll worry about your health later. I tell you what, <laughs> hey, I've only bought one case of water since I've moved here. So it hasn't, <laughs> hasn't run out yet. <laughs>